Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to a new video. I picked up this Power Wheels Mustang recently for free on a local classified, and uh, I wasn't happy with the stock performance. So, you know me, I gotta throw a Ryobi 40 volt battery in it. With two or three simple changes, you can make this thing go from super slow to super fast. You're gonna be the coolest dad in the neighborhood. So stick around, and I'll show you how to simply modify one of these to completely haul some butt. Okay, let's go ahead and show you under the hood. Okay, so looking under the hood, you can see the Ryobi battery, a PWM controller, a display, and a adjustment knob. Um, these are the stock cables for where the battery was, and everything from this back is all stock, and that's what I wanted to have for this project. I wanted to have this stock shifter work, so the fast speed, slow speed, and reverse still work, and that's why this is so awesome. Um, let's go ahead and show you a little bit more detail. Let's talk about um, the components, and then I'll talk about the modifications I had to do to the body, and then uh, we'll go ahead and show you some rips on it. Okay, so these are the three components you're gonna need. 40 volt Ryobi battery, a Ryobi battery tray that holds a battery and then has these 12 gauge wires to come off, and then this PWM controller. I'd recommend this PWM controller because it actually fits in here perfectly and has a couple other features that I like that are different than my other brands. So uh, let's go ahead and take a closer look at this first. Okay, so this uh, 40 volt battery holder um, is 3D printed and you can buy it off Amazon. What's really cool is it has these metal clips and the 12 gauge wires built in and it holds your battery perfectly. It even has mount points. If you see my previous uh, Razor scooter build, I used this to hold right, uh, the 40 volt batteries. So these are uh, tested and they work great. So I'd recommend uh, purchasing these. I'll have a link in the description below, but there's the setup for this uh, 3D printed battery tray. The battery just clips right in and then the, you just push this button to get it out. So fairly simple, heavy duty. I haven't had any issues with these breaking. I think they're pretty affordable price. So check that out. Okay, so talking about the battery, let's go ahead and show you how easy it is to swap it out. So you just lift the battery up. It's got enough play um, with these wires and you just pull it out, grab a newly charged battery and slide it in. So very simple. Um, it's really secure when it's in here. It's not going anywhere. Um, yeah, I don't think you need to tie it down at all. Um, for run times, uh, I get well over an hour with one of these batteries. Uh, the newer batteries that I have, uh, the 2.6 amp hour ones, they do last longer. Um, I have recovered a few uh, damaged batteries and I use them, but uh, they don't quite last as long. If you had a 5 amp hour battery, this would last, uh, you know, over two hours of runtime. It's just really nice because uh, it's fast charging and uh, you won't ever get any damage to the battery from letting it sit uh, without charging it. So definitely recommend using lithium batteries instead of lead acid batteries. You'll get a lot more runtime on a battery like this than you will the stock Power Wheels battery. Okay, let's go ahead and talk about the PWM controller. Um, so this knob here has a power switch, so you just flip it on. And then the nice thing is it has, it has this uh, percentage, so this is currently at 27%. You can turn it all the way up to 100% or down to any number you want. Stock Power Wheels is between 15 to 20%, so um, if someone's just barely learning on this, just make sure you have it down to 15 to 20 percent using this 40 volt battery. It also comes with a switch, so if your wheels are spinning the wrong way, you just flip the switch. Uh, the middle turns it off, so the two line versus the one line. So if your wheels are spinning, just flip the switch and it's fine. Um, so what comes with this is you have the display, the, the knob that powers it on and adjusts it, and the switch to reverse it. Very simple. Let's go ahead and show you the wiring of this. Okay, I'll include a wiring diagram on the screen right after this, but very simple. Uh, your battery leads go into the battery plus, battery minus. 
motor plus, motor negative. Um, so these go straight back to the motor. This is where the battery originally hooked up. So what I did is I cut the end off of this connector, stripped the wires, stripped the wires for these two, and just screwed them in. Very easy to do. Um, also, these plugs just plug right in. So very simple. I'll go ahead and throw a wiring diagram on the screen right now. Okay, so talking about the modifications I did to the body, uh, you can see that there's just this plastic outcrop uh, that came along here. And I just took a multi-tool oscillating saw and just cut along here, 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 and here, and here. And I just removed that whole chunk. So now it allows the battery to sit in here. The battery hasn't ever fallen through this hole. It's not big enough. I don't think it's an issue. So yeah, very simple modification. Um, no issues with structural integrity, it's fine. The other side is very similar, it's just a smaller cut. So um, basically I just cut along these same lines and this just came out farther. So I just removed that and uh, that's where um, this sits in here. So it sits perfectly like this and then the battery sits next to that. You just drill a hole slightly bigger than the diameter of this uh, upper screw and then after that hole, you slide it up through the bottom and you put this nut on. So it's very simple. And then you just have this guy and he just slides on, he only slides on one way. So I put it like this so the power is off over here and then it just turns on and off. Yeah, that's everything here. Uh, like I said, I'll include everything in the description below um, for parts on this, but uh, if you have these Ryobi 40 volt batteries, I totally recommend doing this to a Power Wheels. It hauls. Let's go ahead and show you some uh, video of it uh, cruising down the road. Crawl pace. Is this slow, Demi? Well guys, I hope you loved uh, that footage. Uh, this project was really fun and uh, I really enjoyed um, speeding up that Power Wheels Mustang. Um, you know, my girls, uh, they liked it before, but now they absolutely love it. So it, I've also had a ton of kids in the neighborhood uh, want to ride it too. Um, so if you guys are looking to do the same thing, it's super simple. Um, it's pretty cheap. The PWM controller is like 16 bucks. Uh, the adapter is like 19 bucks, so under $40 in, and uh, you can you can have a nice power wheel like this. The other thing I'd recommend is if you don't want to use a Ryobi 40 volt battery, uh, just have some two two other tool batteries here. This is my Bosch uh, 18 volt. There are adapters for these, and this is uh, my Makita 18 volt. So uh, you can really take any tool battery that you already have, and uh, the, the company that made the same adapter on Amazon, uh, I think it's Terraforma. Um, anyway, I have that part in the description, but uh, just check out them as a seller, and they sell tons of these different adapters. So you can take any tool battery you already have and do the same exact thing. The PWM controller is gonna work with all of these tools, but I just thought it'd be cool to hook up a 40 volt battery to see what it did. So um, as for turning it all the way up, I never tested it at 100%. Um, I turned it up to 65% and I actually smelt a little bit of uh, burning electronics, so I hurried and turned it down. So I would just recommend um, 
you know, for a beginner kid just barely learning how to do this, just turn it to, you know, 15 to 20. For somebody that's just getting a little bit better, turn it up to 35. And for the all out speed, I wouldn't go above 55% uh, on, on the dial. So um, those are just my recommendations. If you guys have any questions or comments about the project, uh, just go ahead and leave me a comment and uh, I'll try to get back to you. Um, appreciate you guys sticking to the end of the video. Hope you guys love this content. It was sure a fun project for me. and. Uh, uh, you know, I have a couple other cool projects coming out soon, so hopefully you guys will uh, subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you really like the content. Anyway, that'll about do it for me today. You guys have a great day. We'll see you later.